Good morning. It's approximately 5.30 a.m. and we are awake in this world. Why, you may ask? All in due time, all in due time. Currently, I'm just waiting for my ride to pick me up. Today's gonna be a good day. It's already a good day. Waking up early before the sun has fully painted the sky. It's wonderful hearing the birds chirp in the morning. It's wonderful being alive today. All alone, we were young, you were like one. Ready as the fog rolling in all the hillside. Lovely as the song in the air as the wind blows. Oh, yet as the cold of the frost on the wind. We made it to Letchworth. It's pouring rain outside. Big rains. Yeah. A little rain don't hurt though. That's true. Thieving. Hello, my name is Stephanie. So today, <laughs> we're doing something called earthing, which is basically where you walk barefoot. You absorb electrons. Three. From the mud. <laughs> in the mud. From the ground. We're trying it today, see how it is, in the middle of the woods. We were gonna go hiking, but it's raining. So we might go hiking eventually, but now we're just gonna walk. In the rain. Yep. Wow. Especially if your feet are already kind of built up from just like running on pavement. Do you feel grounded? I feel grounded. Oh, this is beautiful. I love grounding. It's quite fun. I feel like a lot of times people think that rain is bad and kind of ruins the day, but here we are out getting wet and enjoying the water. And our shoes aren't getting wet. Exactly, we don't have that weird, ugly feeling of water in our shoes. It just feels amazing. It's quite I satisfying. Just, you feel everything and you feel alive! I feel alive! Oh, I cannot trust what you say when you go, go, go. So my love, I'm sorry, but still I Now we're gonna go play on the playground. Of course, grounding is a thing. Oh yeah. <laughs> I have set my mind and my will. I am leaving. So basically we were just talking about how a lot of times our relationship with water, particularly rain, rain yeah. can ruin our day and kind of set you back from what you want to do. But it's really just like, it's really just how you think about it because if you don't dwell on the fact that you're currently wet and you might feel a little cold, it can be so much fun and like enjoy it and enjoy how wet it is and just think when you get home, 
you can just change. You'll yeah. dry off in a few hours. And it's not gonna be that bad in the long run. And if you make if you make it fun and make the most of it, it can be a lot of fun. It's and nice. liberating and it's Yeah, fun. it is liberating. That's a good way to put it. It's yeah. liberating because we don't allow ourselves to have fun. And I feel like a lot of times we're the reasons that we're not enjoying ourselves is because we see the world a certain way. But yeah. if you see rain, it's only yourself kind of holding yeah. you back from enjoying it and making the most of it. Yeah, if you see rain is beautiful, then life is beautiful when it rains and we're dancing in the rain, yeah. enjoying it with our wet, bare feet, grounding, mm -hmm. and it's amazing. It is, it's really fun, it's really yeah. fun. We're going on a hike now to test our, our feet on trails to see how this earthing and grounding stuff actually does physically. If you only saw is a mercury bar And that sucker's not close to a climb I'm reducing this in time So this is actually quite painful on this uh, stone path. It hurts a lot. I'm doing okay, it's manageable, but it's definitely difficult if your feet are as raw as this kid's is who doesn't ever walk outside. When I'm sleeping Can't keep my jacket off the floor Soon I know the frost will be the bite But I don't plan on getting bit Yeah, it's been getting cold and natural But I linger on your love and every chance I We got a situation update I don't well, I go outside a lot, but I always wear shoes, like, religiously. Shoes and, like, sneakers and socks. Religiously wear them. So I don't do this very often. So my feet are kind of, like, dying. I don't know if you can see this. This is all dead skin. And it's like that on this foot as well. That whole thing. Dead skin. And it's just going to peel off. But we're pushing through it. Peel up. So he's wearing shoes because the point of grounding and earthing, at least in my opinion, should not be about hurting yourself, but the whole point is making yourself feel better and not pushing yourself beyond limits of being safe and healthy. If you haven't been using your feet, they ain't gonna work like they should. So it's all in baby steps of changing your lifestyle and changing your habits, and that's what we're doing today. So basically, uh, we're going to the end of this fence, and then we're going to see this uh, bridge, this railroad track. It's totally illegal, don't question that. Try not to get hit by a train. That's the plan. No trespassing. Oh, oh, God. look at him go. What do you think, Andrew? Does this make us cool yet? Your rebellion said no. He said no. Let's go, boys. We're on a bridge. This is amazing. This is where we saw in the videos before. <laughs> You're only a phone call away My strings won't amazing. stay in tune Let's go, let's go Get out of here, get out of here There's a train coming, I can feel oh the light right here Oh my god, I'm gonna die Oh my god, I'm gonna die From what I can remember It looks like November I feel like the middle of June I'm immune to Guys, bad things happened. Oh my god, it's so gross. I got pooped on. We were literally just talking about how much we love nature and all these cool <laughs> birds we were seeing. And then there's just a, like, a, this, like, a and I thought it was water. I don't think it but was water. But it's not water. It smells bad. Wait, you're gonna get a lot of views because there's gonna be a lot of feet in this video. <laughs> yeah, I'm just realizing this. I feel alive! So today, we are trying this cool hippie shit. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the sex van! <laughs> 